making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin. It's Thursday and from the jingle and the calendar, you know it's time for things for making Thursday. <clears throat> I'm going to apologize. Um, my eyes might look funny and I'll be honest, I'm having trouble focusing on the viewfinder. I had to go to the optometrist today for a follow-up and my eyes have been dilated. So things are going to be a little weird for me for the next four to six hours. Um, I might be talking with my eyes closed quite a bit. Uh, so sorry if that looks weird. It's, we just gotta do what we gotta do. Um, okay, since I know I'll get questions, um, with the, I mean, you have to have your annual eye exam, and then with the vestibular vertigo issues, we were wondering if there wasn't sort of vision component in there, and I think there was, because after getting my new glasses, it took a little bit to get used to, but it has gotten even significantly more better. Um, so there is a couple of vestibular vertigo things we're still tracking down, but vision has been taken care of. But in that eye exam, I had some dark spots, so she wanted me to come back in a month so she could double check and rule out if it was something wrong with my eye, some sort of sign of an autoimmune disorder or something. And she said, no, you just have very dark, very prominent floaters and, um, we verified it through the retinal pictures and she had to dilate so she could visually um, see them as well. Sorry, I'm trying to look down because I've got the big lights up there. And <laughs> okay, so that's enough blibber babber about eye doctor and medical stuff. We are here to talk about Things We're Making Thursday. And Things We're Making Thursday is a gigantic collaboration between a great many people, both YouTube content creators and non-content creators. And, um, oh... No. I am just realizing I didn't organize the pictures you guys all sent me. Okay. I am not going to be able to do the computer work to edit them in today. So I'm going to have to beg your forgiveness once again, and I will put them all in next week when hopefully this isn't an issue. Um, <laughs> ah! I should have thought of this and prepared last night, but I did not because that's not how Aaron rolls, is it? Um... Okay, so what made me think of that is because of the non-content creators who participate. You can participate by sharing your pictures of your items you make in our Facebook group, which is called Things We're Making Thursday. It was made for us by Jess from... Nope! <laughs> the jingle was made for us by Jess from J-Hook Magic. The Facebook group was made for us by Jenna from Jenna's Stitches. Um, so you can share pictures of, you know, the makes you're making pretty much anything. So share yarn sale, share things you're doing. If you have a question, people are very helpful. Over there. It's an awesome group. Um, but I also have had people share projects with me so I can put them in my videos. So I get them emailed to me at my email address, craftingkitty at gmail.com. It's down below. And I also have a crafting kitty, um, Facebook group where people will share pictures there. So I will pull from there. I think I have a kiddo coming. What's up? Oh, oh, did I turn the sound off? I might have. There you go. Try that. There you go. Um, so yeah, you can share pictures of your things you're making Thursday makes in my Facebook group. And I am happy to share them with you all. I know we had some lovely shawls and sweaters shared with us. I am they were beautiful. One of them especially. Oh, Deanna, it was gorgeous. Wonderful work. Um, but yes, so I will share and talk about them during my videos, except not today. Um, I'm a little off kilter because she was interrupted and I had that brainstorm. Um, okay, so what we do is we all make the same category of items this year. Last year we picked a specific project and that's what we did, but this year we've made categories and we're going to do whatever is within that category for the month. The month of June here is wearables. Any sort of wearable you want. I consider anything you put on your body to be a wearable. So sweaters, cardigans, shawls, socks, 
I would call a hat a wearable. Mittens, gloves, whatever. Slippers, totally wearable. You want to make some pants or shorts? You go for it and share it. Dresses, beautiful. And this can be using whatever craft you want. Knit, crochet, macrame, weaving, sewing, whatever you want to do. Totally, totally open and willing to share. Um, I started this month by making a sweater. I had been working on a V-stitch, no, a V-neck granny stitch sweater from MJ's Off the Hook, and I did finish it. So look, here it is in all of its glory, ends woven in and everything. I will put it on, but actually it's not too horribly humid today. Um, we got a nice bit of rain yesterday and it cleared out a lot of humidity for us but yeah it is done and fantastic i did verify i went back and checked i made the 2x size and i used the same crochet hooks that were suggested it is supposed to be a cropped sweater but um i had to add 12 extra rows to the body because the crop sweater came to kind of my under bust here and that, that was not a good look for Erin. So I made it slightly bigger. If I were to do it again, I also added two extra rounds of decreases in the sleeves to make them not as kind of puffy. Um, I think you could very easily do more decreases in the sleeves if you want a more tapered sleeve. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can make it whatever length you want. So I am very excited and proud of this. I used, uh, what's it called? T Mandala Tweed Stripes in the colorway Dragonfly. That sweater used three and a half cakes of it. So the 2X sweater for me with my additional length. Uh, three and a half cakes. The, um, I do think I might have misread. I don't know. So for the sleeve cuffs, I did not go down a hook size. And it was specifically called out in the cuff at the bottom of the garment. And for the neckline, they specific, um, she specifically called out to put a smaller hook, but it was not called out for the cuffs. So I think you could do either. In my opinion, my cuffs are a little big, so going down a hook size I think would also be a good idea. Um, but I'm also open to me misreading the pattern and not understanding that I should have gone down. Anyway, so I finished that project. What am I going to do next? Well, I needed to work on my uh, shawlette I was making for the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight Prize. So I gave you guys a question in my weekly roundup, that was a little late, i sorry, um, should I stop where I was or should I keep going? It was kind of a mixed response with people saying both, um, but I thought Sam from Mantha's Makes had a great idea, which is since this took half a cake, I could very easily take that other half of a cake and make a second shawlette and have two wearable prizes, or two prizes that were made by me. So that's what I decided to do. Thank you, Sam, for having that brainstorm. So I did go ahead and weave in all the ends and finish the first shawlette. This is the Diamonds and Cubes shawl. Um, Craig, so this is from Craig at Fiber Spider. He has two different tutorials for this. I, I guess there is a top down and a bottom up. I did the most recent one, which is a bottom up, and it's a super fun, super easy, great autopilot project. You know, it doesn't, once you get it going, you really don't have to do much thinking or calculation other than figuring out the size you want. So I did finish the first one, and I would say I'm about a third done with the second one. And what I'm using here is Lion Brand Mandala, and I had one cake of the colorway Groot. So this one is the next set of stripes, and I think they're both going to end up being so pretty. 
and I am using my preferred millimeter size for three weight yarn. This just so happens to be one of my Furl's acrylics. Um, five millimeter H five millimeter. I believe this is the Aries hook, but I'm also pretty sure I bought it in one of those mystery discount things and I don't have actual confirmation, but I'm super excited. These, like I said, these come back, come up super fast, work up super fast. And since it's a little Charlotte, I, <laughs> Linda, I had to laugh when I read your comment about <laughs> you don't think people really wear scar uh, shawls in real life unless you are an extra in Bridgerton. <laughs> I had to giggle so much. So um, Linda was saying she would stop at the shawlette because she thought it was more practical and people don't often actually wear full-size shawls. And I was like, I think that is very, very true. Like I have fun making shawls and I've certainly had shawls gifted to me and I think they're beautiful. Um, I wear them occasionally like during the winter in here while I'm filming. But if I'm out and about in the real world, I'm, I'm usually not wearing a shawl unless it's some sort of special occasion, like a wedding where I want a little shawl to cover the arms or add to my outfit. Um, but yeah, I, I totally agree. And wouldn't it be fabulous to be an extra on Bridgerton? That would be just just wonderful. Like I see all the reels and like the sign behind the scenes things. I don't have TikTok, so I see it on Instagram or Facebook, but I don't think I really see it on Facebook. I think it's mostly Instagram. Um, they just look like they have so much fun filming those. I think that would be, that would be super fun. Although I have not watched the second half of season three yet. So I don't know what about our dear little pollen situation. Although I think I did read a, um, a spoiler that perhaps the reveal was not as cataclysmic as we might have thought, um, which is good. But yeah, I got I got to root for them. But I am excited if next season is Benedict season because I really like Benedict's character. I want to see him find his path and. All that good stuff. I don't know why I'm blabbering on about Bridgerton. Let me know. Do you guys watch Bridgerton? Do you like it? Um, I love historical dramas and I especially love... So Bridgerton is in a weird historical time, especially with their costuming and whatever, but I adore Jane Austen. So Regency era anything has my attention immediately. I just love the Regency style umpire waist. Although I know it's technically not Regency if you at, look at the actual dates, but, and they're playing fast and loose with rules of fashion when they are the costume department there, but I think they do it beautifully. They do it beautifully. Those are beautiful costumes. Um, I also like, I'm, I'm going to keep going on. I can't stop. I love the attention to detail where Queen Charlotte is wearing fashions from a previous time. She hasn't moved on in her fashions to what the rest of her court is wearing because it more aligns to what George would remember her as. And I think that is just sweet. The Queen Charlotte story broke my heart. Oh my God, I was ugly crying, especially with that Grimsby. No, it's not Grimsby. Grimsby is Little <laughs> Mermaid. Brimsley. Is it Brimsley? Why am I blanking on his name? I think it's Brimsley. Her manservant when with that whole dancing scene broke my heart. Okay. I have gotten way off track of things we're making Thursday, especially if I'm not going to be adding pictures. So I am going to spare you any more Bridgerton discussion. Although if you would like to speak in the comments, go right ahead. I will let you know with this dilation, she warned me that my nearsightedness is going to be very much affected for like the next four to six hours. So please don't expect any immediate comments back because I can't read my phone or read 
like my computer screen um but i'm okay far distance and bright lights are not my friend for the foreseeable future <laughs> oh aaron we all have to do this and we all have changes as we get older don't we i have old lady itis ah okay i love you all um I will talk to you later. Tomorrow things we're making now. Nope, tomorrow is Fridays with Fred and we're going to be talking about options for new projects. So please come back and check that out if you are interested. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye.